Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Cancer friends and friends of Cancer. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, my Cancer friends, new and old, welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time. I do have messages from meditation. We'll go over um, oracle cards and then tarot cards as, as we do. So, Cancer, I this is actually the third time that I am recording this. Um, the message is the same. I'm being told to keep this message the same, but there have been components that I've needed to go back and really spend some more time on meditating on what is, what is really coming through. And to be honest with you, I feel that there is even a little bit of discomfort from my end in expressing this message. And so I needed to sit with that for a second too, to see what is that all about? I love you, my cancer friend, and I feel that this this message may be off-putting for some people. Um, not that it is off-putting in its nature, but especially when we're seeking comfort, we want something that feels comfortable, right? We don't necessarily want to be told um, that maybe the answer we're looking for isn't the answer that we're looking for. So that aside, let's get into your message here. The meditation, the energies that came through in meditation for you guys, I saw this cracked desert floor, like mud dried up. The message that was coming through on that was that there's a need to dig deeper for sustenance, for life-giving water. Um, something on the surface is dried up. It may appear that there is no life, but there is life that is deeper. There's a need to dig deeper into something, okay? Um, I was also shown a mountain on top of another mountain. So like, um, again, this message of needing to dig deeper, seeking this interior peak. Okay. Whatever is on the outside, it may, something may be disillusioning you at this time, making you believe that maybe there isn't life there or, um, that life is gone, but there's, there's a need to connect with something deeper here to connect with what it is you're looking for. Okay. So. Getting into it, your uh, oracle cards here started with the um, Urban Crow oracle. So you guys got perspective and isolation. So what this tells me is that you guys are going through something right now where you are either isolated, you are not in connection with other people, or you are in connection with other people, but you're feeling isolated. You're still feeling alone. Like there's something that's missing um, there's a request here. Perspective is very, very hangman energy. There's a request here to hang yourself upside down <laughs> to see something from a different angle. And what I'm getting from this is this is not like a quick and easy, oh, you know, there's my shoes. It was under the bed this whole time, you know. <laughs> um, this is a look inside or from a different angle that may take that may take some time to really Number one, see whatever it is, but also to be okay with it, to accept it. Um, this does not feel like an instant gratification kind of situation. So empty room is what came through next in the archetypes, the wild unknown archetypes. So this is what makes me feel that this is like, this is a deep tap root of um, shadow distraction that you are being asked to see, identify right now, to sit with in order to shift or just be aware of, of the reality of the situation. The empty room here really signifies, it's a great nothingness, but it's, um, it's lack. It's this feeling of lack. This room is filled with potential, but that potential, when we are starving for something in particular that we feel that we're not getting, it doesn't matter. <laughs> There is still that unending drive, unceasing drive to receive whatever it is that we feel we want or need. And that's not gaslighting. You know, we are the ones who are most aware of what we want or need. This message is talking about something in particular. And I I'm feeling very much that it's in regards to connection, friendship, a partner, family, um, co-workers, the way that you do or don't connect with others, and the way that you feel that you do or don't belong in that group as well. There is a request here to, to um, 
work through any feelings of abandonment, especially with isolation. If that's something that you're feeling right now, um, whether this is a past event, something that you're feeling currently, the taproot image that comes through for me makes me feel that this is a trauma. Abandonment trauma is very common. It's something that a lot of people experience as a child. Um, with Mercury retrograde right now too, we are in an introspective mode. Less connection with those around us so that we can better see what's going on in our own world. Perfect time, right? Perfect time to see this kind of stuff. But that doesn't mean that it's easy or what you want to see. Um, and this is kind of what I was saying, like the response to feeling isolated or alone and wanting that solution, the solution to be somebody else to make us feel better in that way, that may not be the answer. <laughs> Um, and I'm not talking about extreme cases where someone's been in the mountains, you know, for years, or they haven't had contact with people. This is talking about an extreme discomfort around being alone, around self-soothing, around, um, holding ourselves. Cause no matter how much connection is available out there, and we do live in a day and age of immediate gratification, we have to master, if we want to find inner peace, we have to master the skill of self-soothing, of knowing how to hold ourselves. Maybe even being okay with the discomfort of feeling isolated. Um, it's, it doesn't feel like a permanent situation, but this is an opportunity here to really heal like a trauma. Like I said, it feels like it's attached to an abandonment trauma for some of you. So Swan came through, you guys got in your animal, animal card here. Wild unknown animal. Oracle deck. So the swan, there's a lot of creativity and, and mysticism that's attached to the swan too. Um, this ability to see something is coming through creatively as well. So you're being requested to look at something from a different angle with the perspective, do something a little bit different than you've, you've done before in the past. Because whatever this is, it's requesting to be seen and healed is not something that you have been able to see yet. And if it is, then this is a reminder to continue to put work into that trauma, okay? But the swan here, to balance these energies, it recommends solo time. <laughs> it recommends solo time, you guys. So it feels like, um, uh, you know, where they say redirection is, is grand protection or, you know, redirection can be a form of protection as well. And it absolutely can be. Um, I feel like, this lesson is being protected for you. You always protected, right? We do have those energies around us, especially if we're putting that effort into our own protection too, but we are protected. We're being protected and guided. This is something that protected lesson, like I said, this is something that's not going away. In fact, I feel like in saying that and having a protected lesson, um, there's nothing you can do to throw, you can't throw this out. You can't continue to ignore it. Um, there will be cyclical moments that continue to put you in a situation to take this lesson, to learn this lesson, okay? To heal whatever this is. And it feels like a discomfort around being alone, okay? An abandonment trauma. So the mudra that you guys got here is consolation, be comforted. So prayer mudra, your breathing, especially exhaling and letting things go generally, sorrow, pain, grief, loss, will be easier if the fingertips are lying on the backs of your hands. The contact between thumb and index fingers symbolizes the connection between the human and cosmic consciousnesses. Let go of everything which is weighing you down and surrender it to the universal consciousness. Become aware of your connection with the cosmos. You see a luminous figure which listens to you, gives you consolation and support. The figure is not there to solve all your problems for you, which are often part of a bigger plan, but you can avail yourself of its help and comfort if you let it. In the exquisite stillness of my soul, I find solace and relief. So again, this message is bringing back, to, like we're connecting to the greater design of consciousness to allow us comfort. It is not a solution though either. We're not, we're not calling in a force to like, you know, please heal me of my feelings of loneliness. Um, or feelings of isolation, if this is you in this particular situation, the intention is in the situation, like the lesson is in the situation. So if there is an increased feeling of isolation or loneliness, and again, outside of extreme examples, 
There's a reason why this is so prevalent. It's asking you to get comfortable with that. And the reason, well, we'll get into the message here, but healing is a major part of what's coming through here so far. Okay. All right, Cancer, I love you guys. So let's go ahead and get into your tarot messages here. I'm not going to restart this one. <laughs> that one feels good. I feel like I feel like we got through it in the way that we needed to. So this is the Fortuna deck we're going to start with. What messages do we have for Cancer at this time, please, Spirit? And huge shout out to my channel members, especially you guys. Hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of the video. There's also a join button next to the subscribe underneath this video. And I do have personal readings open and available. If you're wanting a little bit more personalized help at this time, the sun is what fell out here, but it was in reverse. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, I have a link in the description of my video to my website. You can check out my readings I have available. So with the sun falling out here, especially in reverse, I don't shuffle in reverse, but I do respect if they come in reverse. This to me very much is a situation of the sun is out, but there's a need to open the blinds. Um, whatever is going on here with this lesson of isolation or loneliness, um, what I'm getting is that the sun, what you're looking for, the connection, abundance, positivity, success, what have you, is there, but there's something where you're being shown like your participation in this, the blinds are closed and you need to open the blinds. So what does this mean? Let's get into it. Let's find out. How do we open the blinds for cancer? Prince of keys here at the bottom. So this is your hopes and dreams. Um, Page of swords, Prince of keys. So being in your hope, I feel like you guys are in a place here where you're open to figuring this out. This does not feel like a one-off situation. This feels like something that's been very, very repetitive in your life. And it feels like something that you're conscious of. Like you're wanting to get to the bottom of this too. You're wanting to learn whatever it is that you need to learn from this. Yes, I love, I love to see this here, you guys. That tells me that um, you're in a healthy place with whatever is going on. It's not fixing whatever may feel bad, but at least you're open to learning whatever this is that's being requested to learn. Okay, so what do we have here for Cancer? This is a Phantasma deck. We have for Cancer. This is a general message, so please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. It's okay if this message is not for you. Um, check out your rising moon Venus and the other major placements in your chart as well. We do have every sign in our chart and we are more than our sun sign. So I dare you to look. Okay, queen of cups here at the bottom. So this is your fear aversion. Queen of cups is intuition, um, healing. Kindness is actually something that's coming through here. That's interesting. I feel like there is not an aversion to kindness, but... Um, almost like this feeling of there is no kindness to be had out in the world. Um, you are in this process of working to heal and nurture, but there's this fear that maybe that's not going to happen. There's a quality of protecting our emotions too with the Queen of Cups. Um, and I feel like the fear that's connected, this isn't for everybody, but the fear that's connected to that is... Um, a nervousness of always or maybe feeling like you always have to protect yourself moving forward or um, that you'll never be able to like fully let your walls down to somebody. Um, I don't think that's the case. Like we do get to decide who we open up to and to what degree. It is also a difficult thing to learn in this life, I feel, or to realize that um, it's not possible for somebody to ever really fully experience our internal realm. Not that we shouldn't share it with people, but what I'm getting is just that there, there may be this distribution or you're working to connect with people by really expressing a lot of deep things about yourself. Um, and it, it may be serving a different purpose. Like it's, it's not actually bringing more connection. It may be, um, burning somebody out. It may be, um, pushing somebody away because it feels like it's too much. Not that you're too much, and that's not what I'm saying. 
Um, I'm just saying that like with the empty room here, there is a degree of isolation that we are constantly in. We are all alone together is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's get into your message here. Ace of Elixirs here to start in the general. This is definitely a new, a new beginning when it comes to a relationship, a connection. So where you are feeling, I feel like this is also kind of symbolizing you standing here alone. Um, the Ace of Elixirs talks about filling ourselves with spirit, with faith, having faith that anything is possible through spirit, right? Through creator, through source, through the cosmos, through that unseen energy. Um, this is also speaking to me about the desire to start a new relationship. This could be on the horizon for some of you. This is less important though than, than figuring out what's going on here inside, what our aversion to being alone is. Because isolation, like I know that word is intense. Is isolation is dangerous if it happens for too long. Um, we are not meant to be alone. We are creatures of connection. And there are moments where we go through our life alone, and that's okay. It may not be ideal. We may be wanting constant connection, and sometimes that's not possible. So that's what's coming through here for me. It's just a reminder to kind of loosen up to that. It's okay to feel disappointed surrounding that, but don't get stuck in that place. Allowing yourself to open up and flow a bit more with, with your connections. Nothing was made to last forever. You may be closing yourself off to new opportunities by feeling disappointed around previous opportunities that ended. That makes sense. Okay. Um, love. <laughs> love comes through here. Okay. So, um, this is, uh, it is being at a crossroads ultimately with the lovers here. Having the Ace of Elixirs and love come through here, though, well, very much strongly talking about a relationship, romantic relationship, connection to others. Um, this is also balancing, though. It doesn't have to necessarily be saying you've got a relationship coming forward. Could be for some of you. I am definitely more getting this notation of balance, though. The lovers, love represents balancing the masculine and feminine energies inside of us finding that homeostasis within ourselves. Um, doing what hmm, doing what we want to do versus what we think we should do. Interesting. Okay, so back to the anxiety here real quick with the Queen of Cups, this intuitive quality here. I'm getting kind of, um, there is this condemnation towards your own intuition. Like um, maybe you've started a new friendship with somebody or a new relationship and either things have ended or they may, maybe they don't look like they're going well, or maybe the other person's taking space um, because they're a human being, <laughs> right? And this may be sitting unwell with you. You may be coming back and questioning your own intuition. Like, why was I led to this situation? Or is there something wrong with my internal navigation system? that I'm being led to these people that keep ending in a poor way. What's coming through on that is that's not the intention. That's not the intention is to, you know, piss on you and call it rain or saying that your intuition is, is not correct. There's a component to this though, if this message is for you, that's asking you to see where trauma may be playing out in the way that you do connect with people or in the way that you do feel alone. It's not saying that, you know, people aren't leaving your life, but there could be situations right now where um, you may be demanding a certain type of situation and not realizing that maybe it's not healthy um, because this is what's being demanded by your trauma. I need this. I need to have connection every second of every day <laughs> or I don't feel safe. Well, um, you know, there may be some situations where people are open to that kind of connection, but for the most part, it's not, it's not very healthy. Um, it's just not, <laughs> we require breathing room. Okay. 
that may not be for everybody, but that's that's kind of what I'm I'm getting here is to not not give up on connections and to not get stuck on what's happened in the past too. It just seems like oh well, this is always happening to me kind of thing. You know what I mean? If that's the case, you're being asked to look a little bit deeper. Why is this happening? It's not the component of people coming into your life to make new connections. That's that's a healthy energy coming forward. Um, and there's also <laughs> relationships that don't last forever. That's normal too. The way that you're responding or um, experiencing those kinds of relationships or situations, that's what's being highlighted here. If there is an, an inordinate amount of pain that's coming up when somebody says, um, you know, hey, I'm feeling burnt out or <laughs> I need some space. Um, if that's making you feel abandoned, this message is for you. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. So good stuff for you at this time. You have four of elixirs. Um, this is making me feel like the intention of this period is for you to address those components where you may be feeling um, angry, annoyed, frustrated at something where you feel that you're lacking. There are opportunities that are coming forward, but there's something that's being missed. There is a participation in your own life right now that is asking to be paid attention to, to be present with. And that I'm very much feeling is, is a component of, of some sort of trauma. Um, you can look into attachment styles too, anxious, avoidant attachment styles, secure attachment styles. Um, you may be in a place where if this is you, it's definitely more of like an anxious attachment style. And it's not saying there's anything wrong with you. It's asking you to start putting in more effort towards giving yourself what you need to move more towards a secure attachment style. There is something that is constantly being offered here, but it may be missed because of the lens of trauma. Okay. And as somebody who has and is still healing mass amounts of trauma, <laughs> I get it. Okay. I know this isn't, like I said, this isn't the necessarily the message that I want to deliver, but it spirit's been pretty clear on it. Okay. So I love you cancer. I, I really do. And I hope that you're receiving this message if this is for you. So Ace of Swords comes through next in the good stuff. This is cutting through the bullshit. <laughs> so connecting to the rest of the message here, the truth. Okay. It is success too. I feel like this is your opportunity. The second that you realize that um, there may be a trauma, an abandonment trauma, an anxious attachment style that is going on with your relationships, getting honest with yourself about that being a contributing factor really elevates you or, or brings you to a place where you're able to start experiencing the success that you're looking for. You're able to start seeing those opportunities that are being offered for what they are and um, knowing that you can engage with them without feeling drowned if something does come up trauma wise being able to succeed through that perilous journey um there is something about with a unicorn too um your third eye there spiritual sight i almost said digital sight digital sight mm, microscopic sight being able to see something with an assist okay and this is only possible by being in your interior realm anyway. You can't really see this if you are absorbed in other people. Okay. Not saying the connection is bad. I think you understand at this point. So um, what you don't see coming, what's in the dark here, you guys have two keys, two swords. There's a decision that needs to be made. You're at a crossroads here. That came through with love too. You guys are at a major crossroads. How, how do you want to proceed here? Do you want to continue doing the same old thing? Do you want to dig a little bit deeper, go a little bit deeper here and find where the water is? Find out why things are happening the way that they're happening. And this isn't to blame you guys completely like everybody. It's such an intricate <laughs> dynamic system connecting with other people. This is just highlighting that there may be more relief available from your end when it appears or that it is that people leave our life. Okay. Is somebody leaving, ending a connection with us? Is it abandonment or are we perceiving it that way? 
Sometimes that can be real. This is talking about trauma though, okay? If this is resonating with you, you'll know. Um, so there's a need to make a decision here. This is where you may, you may not be seeing it. Like I was saying, this lesson is protected. It's a protected lesson. It's going to keep coming up until you make this decision to start addressing it and facing it. King of Cups. <laughs> um, the notion of devotion to master the motion of your motion ocean. So I feel like what you're not seeing as a part of this situation here is... Um, I'll describe this card as like you're the facilitator of a communication between your emotions. You're not controlling your emotions because we don't, we can't control our emotions. They're messengers. We're listening to what they have to say. We're thanking them and we're letting them know that we're in charge. We got it. Okay. If we're not listening to something though, it's going to keep coming up this protected lesson. So what you don't see here is the need to have this group, this group discussion with your emotions here. There is something that keeps coming up regarding connection or abandonment, isolation, that needs to be looked at deeper. On the surface, you're seeing, okay, it looks cracked and broken and this hurts or it's frustrating or whatever valid emotion that's attached to that, but there's a need to go deeper. Okay, can we, anything else there on that for Cancer, King of Cups? Eight of Swords. Yeah, okay. Um, this is a, a self-imposed prison. I'm being stuck in the mind here. In the mind. There is a need to free yourself. And this requires that you look at something from a different angle. <laughs> different perspective here. Um, asking an emotional experience to go a little bit deeper. This allows you to move yourself from where it feels perilous. But it requires that you understand that you are not actually trapped. This isn't like a curse or a cycle that's unbreakable. Something is happening here that requires you to see where your contribution or participation is and how you're keeping yourself stuck. It's very related to trauma and ego, okay? No blame or shame. This is just, this is the message that's coming through, okay? You guys know I love you. I love my cancers. I, I truly do. And I'm Cancer Venus. I definitely... I'm seeing the reflection of the message into my own life too. So um, your difficulty, your obstacle at this time, you have Ace of Candles. Passion, passionate new start, allowing yourself to start again. I feel like um, there is some hurt or pain somewhere in feeling isolated or something ending. And you're wanting to start again. You're wanting to utilize the energy of the magician to manifest what you want. And this requires an abundance of energy, the Ace of Candles. The difficult time that you're having right now is a lot of that energy is being bled by whatever this emotion or emotions are that are trying to be seen truly, okay? The longer that you're not taking that deeper dive into trauma, um, and there's a lot of help that's available out there, you guys. You can start taking small steps even just by Googling, how do I help myself, okay? Uh, this is available. There is a new start that's available, but it requires that you start pulling that energy back from where it's, it's being bled, okay? Which means that you have to deal with that situation first so that it doesn't feel like it needs to keep pulling from you. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> so this is your give and take. Um, it is receiving help when you feel that you need help and it's giving what you can when you feel that you can. This to me coming up in the difficulty is it's expressing an unhealthy flow of give and take. Um, and you could be anywhere on, on the scale. Okay. And this could not apply to you as well, but, um, you may be in a position where you give too much. You may be in a position where you don't give and you're, you know, you're only taking that's definitely not a super cancer trait, you know, it can be kind of in the shadow. What I'm getting from this is just, um, this is needing to be balanced out. And this, I feel like comes into balance when you address the trauma or whatever is happening that's making you feel this permanent state of isolation or lack of connection, okay? 
it does feel like there is a give and take issue in in the connections that you do have. You may be expecting too much. You may be in situations where people are expecting too much from you. Okay. So you're just being asked to, to see that. All right. Okay. Cancer. I do love you guys so, so much. And I hope that this was helpful. I am going to move into the extended portion of this reading. If you want to join me there, I do have links in the description of the video. If this is where I leave you though, um, please take care of yourselves. I know this feels like a, a tricky time. Don't let yourself be pulled into despair. That isn't the intention of feeling this. It is to help you, to help lift you. Okay. You can do this. I love you guys. Um, Yes, if this is where I leave you. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.